What's up everyone? It's Sharice Michelle Davis and what I want to share with you today has everything to do with hair. As you can see, I've got my hair cut and it's super cute, I think. I think it's cute. Anyway, so earlier this year, like this summer, I've been talking about, okay, I got to get my hair cut. I didn't really want to get it cut, but um, I have had this bad habit of mistreating my hair in between braids and sew-ins. And every, you know, year or two, every couple of years or so, this, this happens. Um, and so this happened last year. And then I think it happened like the year before that. So I'm kind of like embarrassed to, to, to say that, you know, I'm someone that really wants to um, be a good steward but I really suck at maintaining healthy hair. Honestly, part of the reason that is, is I just didn't want to spend the money on regular hair salon appointments. Um, and so I would get braids or I would get a sew-in and I would do that because I just wanted to have an easy, low maintenance style that was still cute at the same time. Um, but in the process of me cutting corners, <laughs> um, my hair suffers. And so the same thing that happened last year and kind of like the year before that happened again this year. And so this time last year, I got my hair cut probably about this, this length. And then shortly after that, I put braids in it. And one of the reasons why I did that is just because I was working out and trying to maintain a blowout with, you know, working out four or five days a week just was not like, it wasn't working for me. Um, and so then COVID uh, happened as well. And so I, of course, with that was wearing scarves a lot um, and just didn't really want to do my hair because I wasn't going <laughs> out or, you know, doing much. So anyway... Here we are, fall 2021, and I am sharing with you that I am making the commitment as of today to do a better job of loving myself by loving my hair. And so I share that with you because maybe there is some area of your life that you are neglecting. Maybe it's a relationship. Maybe it's keeping your room clean. Maybe it's dishes in the kitchen. Maybe it's the condition of your car. Um, maybe it's homework assignments, um, maybe it's, you know, communication with a particular friend or loved one, whatever the case, whatever it is that you are neglecting, just make, just be aware that at some point you are going to have to pay the price. And so if what you are neglecting is something that matters to you, do better, you know? Um, and what I love though is the grace that God has for us um, because that gives us an opportunity to do better. And so I made the decision to do better and I'm going to do better uh, because healthy, strong uh, hair is what I say is important to me. And so therefore I have to do what is necessary to have that. Uh, two other things I just wanted to share was that I recall each time I've sat in the chair with the stylist and I'm watching them cut away my hair, especially the parts that have a length. Like uh, today, I think the front part of my hair is still about here. And so I'm looking at this, this part of my hair that looks so good and looks so healthy, but then there's another part of my hair that's not that long and is not as strong and healthy as that part. And so I had to be willing to let go of this front part in order to have it be consistent, you know, have a consistent look with my, you know, entire, um, with my entire head. And so the spiritual nugget maybe that I could say we could kind of draw from that is essentially kind of be willing to cut your losses for the greater good. You know, sometimes some something has to be sacrificed uh, to accomplish the overall goal. 
And then the second thing I wanted to say, it was just on the tip of my tongue. Um, oh yes, change. Change is oftentimes good, um, but when things change, things change. And so because I now have this new change to my hair, um, I'm not able to gather it all up and put it in a, in a top knot. I, I can't slick it all back into a bun because it's not long enough. But what I do have now is the opportunity to wear my hair in its natural curl pattern. And I can do that now that the stylist has gotten rid of my dead ends and, um, you know, the inconsistencies that were taking place in my hair as far as length is concerned, as well as uh, the nourishment that my hair and scalp has now received. So just a little uh, nugget there. Um, I think it's funny how I'm drawing these spiritual conclusions, talking about something that is so non-spiritual, very, very surface hair. But um, however God speaks to you, uh, let him speak to you. And I hope today that he used me in a special way, um, that there was something that was said that potentially resonated with you. So anyways, I am going to enjoy the rest of this day. Um, I'm probably going to stop by the mirror a few times. You know how it is when you get a new, new hairdo. You just can't stop looking at yourself. Uh, yeah. So on those days that you are loving your look, love your look. Um, and on those days that you're not loving your look, it's all good because you're not going to look like that all the time. So talk to y'all soon. Bye.